YouTube. Welcome to Motorcycling with Carl. Today we're going to be doing a Hogworks LED headlight install on my 2019 Harley Davidson Iron 1200 Sportster. So I bought the Hogworks LED headlight from, oh it's in black. I bought it from Revzilla, $199.98 plus tax. When you order this, they advertise there is a two to three week lead time before it's shipped out. I did get mine in probably under two weeks. So it wasn't as long as I thought. So I'm gonna take you through the install on this. We're gonna unbox it really quick. I was hoping that in this video I would be installing the new LED headlight and the Memphis Shades Gradient Black sports screen, but unfortunately, Everything in gradient black from Memphis Shades is nowhere to be found. So that will be a later video when I do get one of those. So let's go ahead and open up this Hogworks headlight and see what's in the box. So, so far, very nice packaging. It's got the, uh, it's got a little hog or something on the, on the front design there. I don't know if you can see it. So let's see, got some instructions. Of course, four steps, must be easy. All right, so let's see what's in the box here. Ooh, look at that, nice Hogworks sticker. All right, um, and here is the headlight, boom. Not that much to it for $199.98 plus tax, but we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get set up here. Uh, what I wanna do first, I'm gonna set up the tripod, turn my bike on, I have my bike pointed toward the garage door. I wanna see where the original headlight is hitting on the garage door, all right, and how bright it is and my high beam. And then we're gonna install the new headlight and I wanna see where that one's hitting, see if the adjustment's the same, make sure I check all of that stuff. So we're gonna go through this step by step. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm in my garage, I'm gonna turn my bike on and the headlight and I'm gonna let it hit the garage door. I wanna see about where it's hitting and I wanna see about how bright it is and I wanna turn the high beam on. So this way after I replace the headlight and I turn it on, I want to make sure that I, it's still adjusted the way the factory was and the beam is concentrated basically on the same same spot. So let me go ahead and turn that on. All right, so the beam is just above the first uh, split in the door there. All right, and then we'll turn on the high beams. Okay, boom. All right, so now I have video to compare of what the original headlight and the new Hogworks headlight will, will look like when I'm done. All right, so we're back here getting ready to take off the uh, little fairing. And from everything I see, it looks like it's gonna be easiest. There's three screws up here. We got one up here, one down in there, and one over in here. I believe by taking those three screws out, it's going to allow me to take that fairing off and get to the headlight without a lot of difficulty. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take these three screws out. It is a 530 seconds Allen. So I do wanna keep a towel over my tank just so I don't scratch it. All right, so that is one screw out. Let's go grab this one. Okay, so it does look like there's a washer that didn't fall off of that last one, so bam, got it. Okay, I know this one's loose. Come over here. Bam, got that. Okay, now I'm gonna 
I'm gonna crack this one loose, okay? Hopefully. Giving me a hard time because of the angle. I got it though. All right, I'm gonna put the socket down. I'm just gonna use the tool in my hand, okay? Okay, that one went down, but look at that. Three screws and that came off. All right, so we're gonna get into this. We're gonna take off the retainer ring so we could take out the old headlight. Guys, remember, do me a favor, please. If you like my channel, if you watch my videos, please hit that subscribe button. It will help me out so much. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, also, if you want to know when my videos come out, hit the bell for the notifications. But guys, if you watch my videos, it really means a lot if you subscribe. Help me out a lot. I, I would appreciate it. I keep making these videos and I definitely love doing it. Have a good time. So there's a little uh, fill up screw on the bottom of the retainer ring. You want to unscrew that. Okay, comes off, there's a, it's a cap nut, a little nut that goes on the one side. All right, take the, take the ring right off. All right, now the headlight should just kind of drop out of there. All right, let's see, we take the, the plug right off. Boom, headlight out. Notice in the ring around your headlight here, there is a notch, all right? So your new headlight will have a notch on it to sit in, just like the old one did. You see the notch here? All right, so let me, let me go get the new headlight and put it in. All right, so here we are with the new headlight. Let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, I heard it click, 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 so it's in. Now we wanna line this up. Because we wanna have the connector sitting back far enough. Okay, get that right out of the way. Retainer ring back on here. Alright. I had put the screw back in, but I guess that's not a good idea. So let's leave that I'm totally out for now. Right, let's get this retainer clip back on here. There it is. All right, so now I'm gonna get that started. I'm not gonna crank it. I'm gonna make sure it looks like it's straight. Make sure the retainer ring is, is down at the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna tighten it. Okay. tighten it and it's tight it's not going nowhere all right so I'm actually just gonna just so I know it works just turn the key on real quick boom okay I saw it light that was good enough for me so now let's put the fairing back is on. I'm gonna try to catch one of these easy ones first okay nothing's ever easy Okay, so if you get it through there, 
Just line it up. You don't want to tighten anything. This way all the other ones can still line up. Let's go over. Grab the other two screws. I'll take the socket handle with me. All right. So let's go after the other easy one, which is this other side, okay? All right, loose, you know, snug but loose. Bring them almost all the way in, but leave them loose so they still, still rocks up and down, okay? All right, maybe this one I gotta try to catch with my fingers and get it started. All right, so. All right, got it started. My little fat fingers did it. All right, so this was all the way to the top. So let's, let's snug this one right up, okay? And then we'll snug up that one. And then we'll snug up that one. Let's go to the front and see if the headlight looks like it's centered in the bezel. Um, the bezel actually looks a little high, so I'm gonna See if I could actually drop it down a little bit. All right, so that's down a little. Let me see. That looks pretty centered now. So let's snug her up. Here, snug, snug. All right, let's put the socket handle on. Get right in there. We don't want to over tighten these. They weren't that tight to begin with. And what you'll do is when you ride and stuff, just check them, make sure they haven't loosened up. Okay, that one's snug. All right, let's go in here. All right, that one is a little bit on the tricky side because of the angle of the speedometer. So what I'm going to do with that one, let's see, this 530 seconds. I'm going to go over. I have a shorter... 5.30 seconds. All right, I'm gonna, gonna see here. All right, that's not gonna work either. All right, all right, all right. So with that being said, let me see how I'm gonna get that tight. <laughs> so, Let's see if this is 5.30 seconds, which it is. <clears throat> that actually fits in there. Ooh, my new Hogwarts sticker is on the ground. All right, so this one actually fits in there and boom little tightening all right fairings back on all right let's see what this headlight looks like boom that is pretty bright all right looks good let's see the high beam high beam nice so i would say this was a successful install all right so i figured i'd end this video with me out riding with my new headlight at night um turns out i went out the new headlight is very bright, very white. I like it a lot. Um, 
but my headlight uh, adjustment seems to be off. So I'm actually going to do a second part to this video where I show how to adjust the headlight according to the Harley Davidson specs and how to do it on the bike. So be watching out for that video. So hit the notification button so you get notification. Um, also, the GoPro Hero 8 is in stock. So I have ordered it. That's going to be coming. I'm going to be doing an unboxing on that. Get that going. I ordered a new clear visor for my helmet. I'm going to do a video on that. And also, like I said, I have that very, very important news. That video could drop as soon as Saturday. I'm not quite sure yet, but it's very exciting for me. Um, I can't wait. I'm bursting at the seams to tell somebody, anybody. So tune in for that one, guys. I appreciate you watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe. Hit the like button, bell notifications. This is Carl saying laugh a lot, be nice, and ride on.